Hi neighbor, my name is Hannah. I am wearing purple lipstick and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me. My channel is about fashion, makeup, and life in general, so I hope that you subscribe to my channel and set your notifications to all so that you can keep in touch with everything going on here in the neighborhood. Today's video is going to be a try-on haul of swimsuits that I bought at Walmart. <laughs> Noticing over the past few years that Walmart has kind of upped their game in terms of like all of their clothing and especially swimsuits. I've been very impressed over the past couple summers looking at the swimsuits and they're really catching my eye, which never used to happen before. So I decided as an experiment for this summer I wanted to try some Walmart swimsuits, some of which are brands that I could find in the stores and some of which were like brand new brands to me that I've never tried before and those came from online. I am plus size, tall, and curvy, and like I've mentioned before, I'm basically the same body now that I had when I was in high school. So I made sure to include some juniors brands in the options today, just to see if I was in high school today, would I have options that I liked. I have everything next to me, I'm excited to get into unboxing it. First I just want to give you some technical details. So I ordered five swimsuits from Walmart.com, and it was split up into three different orders. One order was a pickup order that I could do in store at a Walmart near me. The second order was scheduled to arrive around April 30th, and the third order was set to arrive around May 6th. The third order is the one that had brands that I had never tried on before. The subtotal for all five swimsuits was $108.50. I actually didn't end up getting charged for shipping on any of the orders. So after taxes and free shipping, my total was $115.39 for five Walmart swimsuits. What I'm really looking for today in this Walmart swim haul is the quality, the fit, and the expectation versus reality factor. I feel like their quality has improved over time, so I have high hopes. The fit is going to depend on whether their size charts led me to choose the right sizes based on my measurements, and the expectation versus reality factor, does it look in person <laughs> like it looked on the model on the website. There are five different brands among this order. I hope that all the brands fit me remains to be seen. <laughs> Alright, I'm really excited. I'm just gonna start showing you what I have. So the first few swimsuits I want to show you I actually picked up in store. They're still on the hangers. So this suit is a size 1x by Time and True and this is the brand that I was a 3x in last year. <laughs> it's this nice Oh, it's inside out? What's happening? Which side is the inside? That's the first question we'll answer. So this first swimsuit is a two-piece. It's this floral pattern in kind of an earthy color palette, and then it has this polka dotted trim around it, which is like black and cream. Like it might show up on camera as white, but all the white places are actually cream. I like this kind of more 70s color scheme. That's more of a where, where I live in color world. I like that this has like a little bit of something interesting on the side, but I don't feel like it'll be super revealing. I think it should be flattering. Basically, I liked the print, I liked the shape of it, and I said, uh, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so let's give it a try. Okay, so I really like this swimsuit. I feel like it fits great. I love the design and the color palette and the style of it. I got it because online it did kind of give me a more like vintage vibe and like a touch, a little touch of pinup. I really love this. I feel like it's super comfortable, super easy. I feel like it looks cute on. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I really like the print. I feel like it works with my whole like sometimes boho vibe. This was one thing that I really was looking for in a swimsuit was a print that wasn't like primary colors, neon, bold, crazy, but that was a little more toned down and I feel like this fits that for me. So I really like it. I feel like the top is supportive and I really appreciate the fact that the back is adjustable. There's multiple hooks here and the straps are adjustable too. I don't feel like I have a problem with any spillage or anything. I can actually go swimming and not fall out instead of like staying on the beach. Overall, I just feel really good in it. <laughs> Me and this swimsuit are, we're going places. <laughs> 
Next up is this one-piece swimsuit that I picked up in store, actually. Um, I like to make sure that I do one-piece swimsuits as well as two pieces. I know that my audience hopefully is other curvy ladies like me, and not everybody is comfortable in a two-piece, and that's fine. I also just thought that this was a really like flattering one-piece swimsuit as far as one-pieces go. It has this sheer panel here on the side, which to me immediately makes it more fun and modern. And I love this neckline. This is my best neckline, and I like that there there's coverage, but you still get a little something with the lace up the front. It looks like it should be supportive, and I like the print of it. I think if it didn't have these panels that are mesh, I wouldn't like it nearly as much, but because of this like more modern edgy detail, it definitely makes me curious to actually try it on. So this is a size 1X by Tara and Skye. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so this swimsuit is like close but no cigar. First of all, I feel like it's like too short for my torso. I'm 5'11 and I feel like it's just kind of like pulling down. I don't think I can adjust it the way that it needs to be adjusted to feel like it's sitting in the right spot on me. The print is fine. Uh, the cutouts are nice, but I don't love the placement of them when they're actually on my body. They feel like they're somehow wrong. <laughs> just too high to be like a hip cutout or too low to be a waist cutout and it's kind of uncanny and weird <laughs> trying to figure out if this is fitting me right. As far as the top half, it has the infrastructure to support me but I don't feel supported. Like there's padding in the bust, there's wires on the sides but for some reason it just isn't really doing anything, especially with this feeling like it's just like pulling down. If I was like three inches shorter and if I was here and it fit me like better, then I think I would have the support that the swimsuit is providing. But because everything is pulling low on me, the support is also low, which means I'm not actually supported. This is cute in theory for somebody else. You'd want to be not over 5'8", probably, for you to feel right in this swimsuit. Or if you're 5'11 and you just have a shorter torso than me, some beautiful tall women just have like super long legs, and I don't. I have like a pretty evenly split body. I like this design. I like it in theory. It's just like not really fitting me right, so it's going back. I'll move on to the next. We have some actual unbagging to do for some of these that came online. Okay, so <laughs> this is a very neon bright swimsuit. This is a size 2X swimsuit from No Boundaries, which is one of their juniors lines at Walmart. And I got it because like I said, I was about the same size that I am now when I was in high school. So I wanna see if I was in high school today, would I have something cute and affordable to wear at Walmart? I got this swimsuit in a 2X because it's a juniors brand and juniors brands tend to run a little smaller. So I just thought it was safer to kind of size up one. This is very neon, not necessarily necessarily my go-to, but we'll see how I feel with it on. I feel like it always makes a difference on the body. I thought it was cool because of the neckline, which I love, and also this like lace up all the way down the front. The bottom piece is not super fancy. A little lace up the side, kind of as trends have gone recently, but nothing crazy. I don't know how this is gonna fit at all. I haven't tried on anything, no boundaries, for a very long time. Let's give it a shot. I have no idea what to expect with these. <laughs> swimsuit way more than I thought I would. <laughs> I don't usually like neon colors on myself, but I really like how this looks. Like in the context of being at the beach, it's summertime, and this is very like bright and cheerful without being obnoxious. <laughs> like I said, like it looks different on your body than it looks on the website. So I thought it was gonna be super overwhelming, but I, I quite like it actually. I don't usually go for pink, but I feel like, I feel like it works. 
I'll also say the 2X was the right size for me with no boundaries. So it also gives me hope about the other Junior's brand that I got in a 2X. The bottom is good. I love this top. I think it is so cool now that I have it on. And again, I have the coverage I need without feeling like I'm gonna spill. I like the neckline a lot. I feel like it's really flattering on my shape. It's a good, fun swimsuit. <laughs> I feel really fun and pretty in it. I didn't think I was gonna like this so much. So Teenage Hannah would have been happy to find this and current Hannah is too. <laughs> Let's move on. Third package, or third order, because the first one wasn't a package. I, just, I picked it up at the store. So now we're getting into the swimsuits with brands that I've never seen in store at Walmart. But Walmart actually sells a variety of brands, including some swimsuits for all brands, if you've ever seen those. So I wanted to try out some brands I've never tried before. I feel like I have an idea of what to expect with the in-store brands, but I've never seen these before, so a little element of mystery. So this is a black one-piece swimsuit in a size 1X from the brand BCA. It's just BCA, there's no like what it stands for. I have another black one piece swimsuit, which I mentioned in my like swim declutter, I'll show that above, but it's a little bit too small for me to wear this summer, at least until I lose like another 10 pounds. So I wanted to give this one a shot and just see if I can like get that black swimsuit feel. What I like is it has a lot of these like sheer mesh panels in the torso, which hopefully will be like slimming a little sexy without being like too much. It looks good, it looks supportive, it looks like the right amount of coverage for me. So, you know, we'll see how it looks on. So I have kind of like mixed feelings on this swimsuit. I think I like it. <laughs> because I really do like how the like mesh panels work through the torso. I think it's really like flattering and slimming and still like kind of edgy and sexy at the same time. It's like a lot of things going on. I feel supported for sure. The back is not too low and everything kind of works well. What's making me feel mixed is I don't like this mesh panel up top and I think I might like literally cut it out with scissors because I feel like this piece makes it too much mesh where I almost feel like I am like the mom at the beach who's trying to be like sexy and edgy but still keeping it conservative, still keeping it covered for the kids and like I still feel younger than that vibe and I don't have any kids but I think I literally might just like grab some scissors and cut off this mesh piece because with just this black panel I'll still be perfectly covered and supported and all the stuff that I need and then I'll feel less like trying to be a modest cool mom if that doesn't work and I end up like killing the swimsuit somehow by trying to cut this, uh, then we'll never see it again. But if it does work, I really like it in theory. It would be a really cool one piece swimsuit. But I feel like there's times that you gotta just wear a one piece and feel a little bit more comfortable at the beach. I feel like the size one X was a good choice. BCA is a brand that I've never tried before, so I'm glad I got a chance to try them and just like kind of see what it's like. The quality is good. It's nice to branch out a little bit. Yeah, I really, <laughs> sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and spinning around because I just love how my waist looks and my hips in this. Just sexy enough without being like naked. I like this with the idea that I'm gonna cut this part out. So let's move on to our final swimsuit. Finally, we have a two-piece from the brand XOXO, which I feel like I've seen in other stores. Like, it's not um, just like a Walmart brand. The pieces are actually like attached by tags right now, but it has this cool ruffly top. The bottom is pretty standard with like a lace-up side. I like the ruffle. I haven't really done ruffle swimsuits before, so I wanted to give this a shot. I like this like off-the-shoulder detail with it too. That's very like this summer. And again, XOXO is a brand that I've never tried before. I got a size 2XL with this swimsuit. It was in the junior section, so just like with no boundaries, when I'm buying junior sizes, I tend to size up one. I kind of expect the quality to be a little higher on this one. I've seen this brand at like Macy's, but I just thought the design was interesting and unique, so I'm excited to try it on and see how it looks.
So this is the 2XL swimsuit by XOXO and I'm like this close to loving it because I think the design is absolutely beautiful. I love how this looks on the body. I love this ruffle. It's like super flattering for me particularly because like between the navel and the bust I have this like little fat area here. I need to like go to the gym and do crunches and stuff and these ruffles kind of help to hide that in a flattering way. And I love the off the shoulder. It's very girly and it reminds me a bit of flamingo. It's girly and flirty without being like super duper sexual which I appreciate that. I like the bottom of it. The coverage is right. The way that the lacing is done. I don't know. Something about it is just a little different a little interesting so I like that. And I really like this color blue on me. <laughs> Something about this particular navy is like a good navy for me. The thing that's not 100% working is the structure of the top. I always wish that two-piece swimsuits were available to be bought with the top in one size and the bottom in a different size because there's just so many women who either their top is bigger or their hips are bigger and they just need that selection or if you're not going to provide that then what you should do is make your tops adjustable. The top is too big for me. And this one is adjustable on the straps, so I can lengthen and shorten these, but the back, the band is not adjustable. It's just kind of a one-piece band, and what I'm worried about is, especially because of these off-the-shoulder things, if I go to swim, or if I go to lift my arms at all, I feel the whole suit riding up, and that's not something that I love. The bottom half fits me perfectly, so I don't want to exchange the whole suit for a size down because then the bottoms would be too small. However, the top is definitely too big so I either have to just return it and be done with it or find a way to fix this. I basically have to decide if this swimsuit is pretty enough, which it is very pretty, I really like the design, for me to do the sewing project so I can wear it to the beach or if I just want to return this and be done with it because I can't get a size that fits both halves of me properly. So yeah, I really wish that there had been different size options for the top and the bottom instead of it coming in a 1x set, a 2x set. That's one thing that I feel like Walmart does well in store is offer the pieces individually instead of together in sets. I'm leaning toward keeping it and trying to sew it because it is really unique and really beautiful. I don't know how to sew a stretchy material like this so just like with the black one piece I might end up killing the suit in the process of modifying it for myself. If you're not somebody who sews, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend getting this suit unless you are always consistently the same size on top and bottom. And there might be plenty of women out there who are like that. I really wanted to end this video on a high note, but now I'm kind of ending it on a confused note. I do really like it. I think it's really pretty and really flattering. I just wish I didn't have to fix it. <laughs> so anyway, let's just wrap up and I'll give you all my final thoughts. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that was my swimsuit haul from Walmart, which in this case came mostly from online, but there were also some that I picked up in store. Hi, this is Editing Hannah, just popping in while I'm editing to say I didn't fully describe accurately, properly, the quality of these swim pieces. They are as good as all of the swimsuits that I've been buying in my fashion hauls recently. I just wanna make that point clear. I feel like Walmart gets tossed aside and gets crapped on because it's Walmart and so everybody assumes that it's bad quality or like it's good quality for Walmart but genuinely this stuff is good. I've recently done hauls that featured swimwear from Boohoo, from Ashley Stewart, from Fashion Nova. I have a torrid one on the way, a little sneak peek. And so far, in terms of quality, the swimwear is the same <laughs> from Walmart as it has been from those previous hauls. Torrid remains to be seen. So I just want to make that clear because I feel like I didn't really clarify that. So there you go. Um, the quality is comparable to much more expensive items. Thank you very much much. Back to the video. Overall it went like pretty much as well as I expected. The pieces that I was more familiar with from the in-store brands were mostly right in line with what I expected. I'm walking away with two swimsuits that I'm pretty happy with and then two swimsuits that I think I can fix enough to where I'd like it. And then there's only one swimsuit that I think I might actually return 
except I really need to check Walmart's return policy because I don't love the idea of returning swimwear that I've tried on, especially with the era that we live in. You know, it's it's been in contact with some germs, I'm sure. Overall, it was a really good experience. I feel like everything was affordable. The designs were pretty modern and things that I think that I really would enjoy wearing to the beach, especially those couple that I have to modify. Once I modify them, I think they're gonna be like, awesome. It was cool to get the chance to see other different swimsuit brands that are being sold through walmart.com that I didn't otherwise try on before. I feel like the quality of the suits was good and again like pretty impressed <laughs> compared to what they have been five or ten years ago. I think it depends on which Walmart you go to as to the selection in the store, but at least online is a fair playing field and you can see all of the different things that they offer. I think if you want to give Walmart swimwear, clothing, whatever, an honest shake, you really have to go online. One thing specifically was that the swimsuits were all flattering. Whether they were a perfect fit for me or not, it, you know, depended on the suit, but for the most part the designs were all like flattering for a woman's body, which really impresses me. Walmart is different from Target in my opinion. Target, I feel like it's very like trendy, style focused, appearance focused. Walmart is definitely a little more like utilitarian. It might not be the coolest looking thing, but it does the job. But I feel like with their swimwear and their clothing recently, they're really stepping their game up <laughs> to be a little more trendy and a little more actually stylish and pretty and flattering. Getting a flattering fit on a plus size curvy tall body like mine is difficult so I have to give them props for that. I am leaving feeling like I know what my sizes are which was one of my goals and feeling like the quality is consistently like pretty good and that for the most part expectation met reality which is like a big bonus for me. I recommend honestly if you haven't given Walmart swimwear a shot I mean save yourself some money and at least give it a try. <laughs> But please let me know your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. I really want to hear from you. What are your experiences with Walmart swimwear? Is it different depending on where you live? I live on the East Coast. Maybe it's like a whole different story in the South or the Midwest. Please let me know. What did you think of the swimsuits that I got? Any questions, comments, concerns, information, reactions, leave it all in the comments below. <laughs> While you're down there commenting, I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and set your notifications to all. I put out videos three times a week and the channel here is really growing so I so appreciate those of you who are paying attention and it really means a lot to me that my subscriber count is growing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time, the fact that you are spending that time here with me. So much love. Bye.